hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel so my dear friends today in this video i want to try to discuss about the most important questions of the operations management subject which is the fifth semester subject it is subject code is 18me56 it is the theoretical subject but uh, sometimes uh, video is asking the problems also which are very simpler ones and some uh, some are difficult ones also i cannot uh, tell easily that they are the simpler ones so my dear friends you have to focus on the theoretical concepts and uh, just focus on the uh, much more theory portion over there so that it will be easy for you to pass the subject very easily so my dear friends in the module first i will try to sort out some uh, questions which are mostly asked in the vtu examination okay so first one is define operations management and explain briefly how the production systems are classified okay this is the one of the most important questions as far as module one is concerned okay so second one is uh, explain briefly with the systematic model the functions within business organization and operations management try to uh, focus on the theory part and if you have a group uh, you can discuss in the group also whatever your language will be which is most convenient for you try to understand the uh, theory concepts then only you can make uh, it easy to write in the examination with your own words okay the next one is what is the decision making what is break even analysis with necessary equations graphs and assumptions were there and also uh, productivity and explain factors affecting product productivity i think this much is uh, enough content uh, to pass this uh, module first to score in this module first uh, you can easily score 20 even if you are focusing much more than uh, on the theory part over there so this is the these are the five questions also uh, for this particular module over here then module second comes up in the module second uh, define forecasting and explain briefly the steps involved in the forecasting process this is the important question in the module second just focus on this part try to understand uh, define the forecasting and explain briefly the steps involved in the forecasting process and also uh, in the R part they will ask exponential smoothing and linear regression over there some problems are there which are very very easier ones my dear friends you can uh, refer the previous year papers you uh, just try uh, out uh, these type of problems over there uh, adopt method of least squares to develop a linear trend equation for the data as shown they will give you the data over there you have to sort out the problems uh, like this uh, year will, will be given and shipment in uh, shipment in tons you have to uh, cover over there you have to find out in the 12 years or 10 years whatever may, uh, may they ask over there so this these are the problems over there just simpler ones go through it so that it will be easy for you to uh, conquer this model also so and uh, what are the time series components processing steps in the forecasting and its limitations so these four types of problems in the module second are enough to secure more marks in the model second so then in the model third some definitions are there like what is the design capacity and uh, system capacity and capacity planning facility layout and also uh, they explain any two different types of layouts were there so this is the most important part of uh, layouts were there okay so next one is explain the various factors that influence the location of plants this is the most important question also over there in this module third my dear friends so go through it uh, explain the various factors that influence the location of plants and next one is the determinants of effective capacity and briefly explain any two of them so this much content is enough for the module third okay so this uh, this one is enough then module fourth comes up uh, define aggregate planning and master scheduling this is the important part over here with the flow chart they may ask sometimes with flow chart uh, define aggregate planning and master scheduling over there and also explain the pure strategies used for the aggregate planning in brief try to understand these type of strategies my uh, strategies my dear friends so that it will be easy for you to write it in the own words over there okay next one is the objectives and importance of aggregate planning and also general techniques of aggregate planning with the flow chart the uh, mostly asked question in the VTU examination general techniques of aggregate planning with the flow chart and also uh, try to focus over try to ponder over the functions of master scheduling over there so this much content is enough for the model four to, sc uh, to score uh, sometimes 20 marks you can easily get sometimes 12 marks okay it depends upon the uh, paper setup or what the evaluators will uh, try to uh, do over there so they will ask sometimes problems over there okay then the module fifth comes up uh, you have to focus on the overview of MRP and uh, steps involved in MRP and benefits and limitations of MRP if you are not uh, convenient in this particular part MRP part uh, actually there are some numerical problems which are very easy tree structure problems they will ask you suppose this X component is broken into two components that is B and C and B is again into three or four component whatever will be there so this is the easy problem in the MRP part okay if you are not convenient with the MRP part over there then go for the R part just because there are some theory concepts always asked in the examination no numerical in the 
or part that is what is supply chain management and what are its functions this is the important question 10 marks uh, 10 marks question in the video examination and also explain make and buy decision and bull whip eff effect and vendor development these are the three concepts in the or part you have to focus over there otherwise you can also focus on the mrp part okay if you are convenient to these pro these type of problems that is the tree st uh, tree structure problems you can just go through your notes it is very uh, easy to secure 20 marks in this model fifth my dear friend so this is the passing strategy if you are looking for the passing so this much content is enough just focus on this, this much part so that you will easily conquer this subject my dear friends i hope this video is beneficial for you people so make sure you will share it with your batch mats uh, which are face uh, who are facing difficulties in this particular subject so thanks for watching my video